<laughs> it's pretty unbelievable. We've never had anything like this before. And I've lived here my whole life. The damage proved staggering. Many struggled to find words to describe the scope of the destruction. It's total. All my animals are lost. Great, Everything. Great animals. I was born in this house. I've lost my whole life. Thousands who kept their houses lost power. There was no vacancy at hotels across the area, forcing many people to turn to shelters. At one point, more than 200,000 were left in the dark. The problem that we're dealing with is that we have power outages throughout the Omaha area, as far south as Syracuse, and as far north as the Washington County line, and even beyond that. The days before the storm, the area saw warm temperatures with highs near 60. The storm then developed in the Texas Panhandle through Colorado, tracked across Kansas, then into Nebraska. It began with heavy rain, turned to ice and snow, then switched to thunder snow at two to three inches an hour. Papillion got 12 inches. Some areas west of the metro got more than 20 inches. Experts say it damaged three out of every four area trees. Not even then, Omaha Mayor Hal Dobbs' house was spared. Own house, no power? Uh, no power. Uh, we've been, we're still without power as of uh, this morning. Some went without power for 11 days. OPPD called the storm a major learning tool. It expanded the call center's capacity from 600 to 20,000 calls an hour. It brought in an expert to study the damage and create new plans on how to deal with storms. The crews who braved icy conditions talked about their efforts back in 1997. Best thing is when you throw the switch and about 60 houses come on and everybody comes out and starts clapping, that's, that's what it's all about. <laughs>